This has been happening in our churches and we need to talk about it. In today's video, we are not going to show faces because we are not here to shame anybody, but we are here to speak the truth. I think yesterday someone commented under one of my videos and said, why are you guys always talking about things that are happening in the churches? You need to go out there and save souls. But I told that person that what we are doing here is also saving souls. Because the devil has entered into the church and uh, he has brought errors in the church leading so many people astray. And uh, we are here to point out the errors that the devil is bringing into the church and also show the people what the Bible really says. So we are here also saving souls. We are saving souls right in the church of God. Okay. Now, um, uh, as I said, something is happening in the SDA church and it keeps on happening. And I think we need to share the truth about it to the members of the church. I arranged by Hall Johnson. My God is so high, you can't get under him, he's so low, you can't get over him, he's so high, you can't get around him, you must come in by and through the lamb, he's so In fact, her dressing was a kind of distraction. I saw it as a distraction. In fact, um, the males in the church would be distracted by the lady's dress. This happened at one of our camp meetings. I mean, our recent camp meetings. First Timothy chapter 2 verse 9 says, In like manner also, that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with propriety and moderation, not with braided hair, or gold or pearls or costly clothing, but which is proper for a woman professing godliness with good works. Today we are in a culture where fashion has become the order of the day and uh, many people, many Christians are putting on dress that do not actually glorify God. You know, we are following fashion, the fashion of the day. And so we are compromising on our Christian principles. Ellen G. White said in her book, A person's character is judged by his style of dress. A refined taste, a cultivated mind, will be revealed in the choice of simple and appropriate attire. 
Our dear women, the Bible makes it known to us that beauty does not lie in uh, how our dress reveals parts of our body, but the beauty of a person lies in the character. That is what the Bible portrays, all right? So I think um, as Christians, we should not follow the order of the day. We should not follow the fashion of the world, but we should let the way we dress show that we are children of God. Now, it looks like dresses like what you see on your screen are becoming common in our church today. And uh, I think we need to share the truth about how God wants us to dress as his children. Many people in the church have been complaining how they have been distracted by the dress some people wear to church, especially our young women. So friends, whether male or female, we should not follow the world, you know. At first, we were in the world and God through Christ has brought us to himself. And so the former things should pass in our lives and we should put on Christ. We should, everything that we do, I mean, everything that we do, we should do them to the glory of God. Friends, I know that you have experience to share concerning the kind of dress some of our women or some of our men bring to church. Sometimes they are just a distraction, especially um, the dress that we just saw, all like part of the breast and like it's, it's <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what some of the men seated in the church house would actually do or think. We should not let the devil deceive us concerning the kind of dress we should wear as Christians. I want to pause here and invite your comments. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Thank you for watching. My name is Lawrence and I'll see you next time.